So our Boolean logic theory has shown us that we can make uh, sort of any logical function out of uh, three functions, as long as we have access to and, or, and inversion, and, or, and not, uh, then we can make anything. Uh, we can make any circuit, and as we'll see when we talk about the sequential design stuff, we can make any piece of memory. Uh, all of that stuff is possible. Uh, but there is a class of device that we can use to generate and, or, and not by itself. Which means if we have, if that's all we had in the world, if all we had was this one class of device, we could generate an AND gate with it, we could generate an OR gate with it, we could generate an inverter with it, and therefore we could generate anything with it. And as it turns out, uh, there are a few devices like this. We call them universal gates or functionally complete, and they can be used to generate AND, OR, and NOT, and therefore anything. And we can actually prove this and we can um, add as a, as a problem to solve, given a particular device, construct it using only these uni universal gates. So here is a, a, just a really quick slide that shows a, a very direct proof uh, that an NAND and NOR are both universal, which means if all you have in the world is NAND gates, you can build anything. If all you have in the world is NOR gates, you can build anything. And we do this in a fairly straightforward way. First of all, we show that you can produce uh, an inverter and then we show that you can produce a gate by itself. And then we know also that you can um, produce the other quality of the gate as well. So for example, we have uh, a NAND gate here. And if we, all we do is simply tie the inputs together, uh, then the result is the inversion of that input. Uh, let's look at that actually, see how that works, because that's worth thinking about a little bit. So if we have the truth table for an AND gate, uh, sorry, a NAND gate. It looks like this. So we have A and then B, and then we have A, B, and it together, and then inverted. What does that look like? Well, we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And we know that AND is true only if everything is true, which is here, and false everywhere else. So that gives us AND. To get NAND, we just invert that. So it's false where everything's true and true everywhere else. That's NAND. Similarly, NOR, we can say A or B is, tr is false only when everything's false, which is here, and true everywhere else. And then NOR, A NOR B is true where everything's false and false everywhere else. So these are our two gates that we're going to look at and say, are they universal? So first, can we make an inverter out of them? And the answer is yes. All we have to do is say that if the inputs to this gate is the same, in other words, if the inputs are 0, the output is 1. If the inputs are 1, the output is 0. So these two situations, uh, this one here and this one here, occur when the inputs are the same. And what happens is the result is the opposite of that paired input. And the same with the OR gate. If the inputs are the same, then the output is the opposite of that input. That's what we mean when we have this tying together of the inputs, and the result is the inverse of the output. And now that we got an inverter, it's easy to make the other two gates. Trivially easy, in fact, because all we have to do to make an AND gate is undo this inverter by adding another inverter here. So an AND gate and then another NAND gate with its inputs tied together gives us NAND inverted, which is AND. Same with OR. We have a NOR gate and then feed that into another NOR gate with the inputs tied together. We have NOR inverted, which is just OR. Finally, we can use De Morgan to show that if we in fact invert the inputs of a NAND gate, what we get is OR. Okay, And we can see this, right? A bar, B bar. We invert and invert and then invert the ANDed result. We can bring this inversion down into here, cancels those two out, and we get OR. I'll do that one on paper just so that we're clear on this. We have um, a, a situation like this, a gate and another gate. To invert the two inputs that then get inverted. And so this is A. B and we get A bar, B bar, all inverted. And if we use De Morgan, we can bring this inverter down into this term by changing the operation. 
and we have to then invert both terms. So this inverter comes down into these two, and we change the operation. And then that is the same as saying A or B. And so what this means is this is equivalent to an OR gate. And because we can build an AND gate, an OR gate, and a NOT gate all together out of NAND, and we can do the same thing out of NOR in the equivalent process, what we have proven is that these gates by themselves are universal. They are functionally complete. All possible logical functions can be created just by a collection of this one kind of gate. All you have to do is to be able to AND things together and then invert the result, and you can do any logical expression. It's very exciting, and we'll show some examples of how we can do that in the next video.